But true myth number one, there is no alternative in economic times. How many times have you heard that? There is no alternative in times of economic recession but to cut government spending, but to trim fat in the government sector, in the public sector. There are other ways, and we need to make sure that these are debated and supported by writers from all walks of life. In particular, in our sector, we need to make sure that we debate the importance of a commitment to public tertiary education so that all New Zealanders have the opportunity to reach their full potential. The second myth, as I said earlier, is that the current government will be returned in the 2011 election. This has a major impact on the prospects for the tertiary education sector as it turns people away from the polls. Any prospect of getting a political commitment to public tertiary education is tied to showing that this is something that large numbers of voters want. And if claims of inevitability lead to apathy with regard to voting, this limits the opportunities we have to turn the political agenda around. And that apathy is something that's particularly pertinent uh, around the agenda for young people and for your association in particular. All political parties respond to the big issues if they know there will be a close election. And lots of voters care about that issue. And Andrew again talked about the student loans in 2005. This was a key issue because it appealed to a whole raft of people for a variety of different reasons. All parties make big promises because the election was close. They made those big promises because they knew the election was going to be close. And that the issue mattered to lots and lots and lots of people. It mattered to lots and lots and lots of voters. We need to be clear that it is under this current government that education sector funding has been cut in real terms and is also being cut in absolute dollar terms. The latest Treasury forecast for the tertiary education sector sees no funding for increased student numbers through to 2014 and funding overall dropping over the next four years. Additionally, we saw last year the governance structures of the politics in the script of staff, student and community representation. We saw the BSM issue. Um, most politic councils now force them out a small number of people whose aim is to govern those institutions as businesses with little regard for their fundamental educational purpose. There are continual claims that interest-free student loans are unaffordable for the nation and must go, and much, much more. So how do we ensure that these trends in the tertiary education sector don't continue? We have to make sure that there is strong public support for strong public tertiary education, and we must make sure that political parties know this is an issue which voters will think about seriously when heading to the polls. And we need voters to realise that their votes do count. And I think just at this point to endorse a comment that John made about you're not going to change the mind of people like you. And I've said them to us. That's absolutely clear. Those decisions are ideological. But we have to work out the things that are going to affect the government. And that's about making the case that if they pursue a particular line, they are going to lose votes.